Okay guys, you guys saw the Calabria video with Brianna. It's really good. It's got really, really fresh flavor. You can tell everything was like just made, but Jack does make it better for sure. You guys haven't stopped bugging me about that. You're like, well let's see Jack Jr.'s bruschetta or bruschetta, whatever you guys call it. Whatever the enunciation is. Yeah, exactly. We're gonna do it right now. We got all the ingredients, so we'll bring in, we'll show you all the ingredients, and then we're gonna make this. It's a fairly quick recipe, so get ready. All right, so to get us started, we got wet minced garlic is, in my opinion, the best. Uh, I don't have the label facing you, so there it is. You're gonna do five to six Roma tomatoes. This is all based off of taste. There's not really gonna be strict measurements. Uh, I use roughly half to three quarters of this onion diced right here. Um, I'm lazy, so I get the pre-chopped cilantro. Uh, you can get it in the produce section of any Walmart. Then we got some uh, shredded Parmesan. Up next, we got coconut oil. Coconut oil is probably the most underrated ingredient here because instead of olive oil, coconut oil tastes a lot lighter to where olive oil really coats your tongue and you don't really get all the full fresh flavors from the produce that are in this bruschetta. And then this is my go-to balsamic. It's really inexpensive, but still tastes really good. And like I said about being lazy, this uh, $1.50 pre-sliced bread at Walmart. And we're gonna go ahead and get it started. So let's get it going. <laughs> hey y'all, so this lid wouldn't open. Uh, so I took a knife to it. Here you go. Um, this brand right here was just the mem Members Mark brand. Don't, don't ever get that. They don't know how to make lids over there. So <laughs> Sam's Club is not in the lid business, clearly. With our mixture, I got all six of those tomatoes diced up right here. Then I did about 70, 75% of that onion. I'm just gonna toss that on top. Up next, I got about half that container of pre-chopped cilantro right there. Just gonna toss that on top. And I got just a couple pinches of Parmesan cheese that's going in the mixture as well. And I'm gonna do two tablespoons of this minced garlic. It's gonna be a third scoop, but that's because this lid. You do heaping, right? Yeah. Okay. We're Italian. We always we always do. You can never do too much garlic. Always go big ever. on the garlic. And then the second to last thing, just a little bit of balsamic. I'll say a little bit, but I'm gonna put some in there. That's the balsamic. And then the last thing I'm gonna add after this mixture, I'm gonna add it off camera. But we have our coconut oil that I'm gonna use here in a second for our bread. Whatever's left over once I'm done coating the bread with it is going to go in this mixture and then mix it up and we're good. So we'll see you here in a few seconds. No hope. You can't have any of this. All right, guys. He's going to proceed to throw it all together. Honestly, I don't remember how he makes this. So I'm glad I'm capturing this on video. All right. So literally we're just going to take our sliced Walmart bread. French bread, I believe. Yes. All right, so we got our coconut oil, we got our brush. I'm just gonna go one by one, brush each individual piece of bread. One for health reasons, and two afterwards, uh, I tried to make it the next time with olive oil, and the olive oil <laughs> coated my tongue, and it was like thick, uh -huh. like it was a lot thicker than the coconut oil. The coconut oil was like very light. And it's not very like heavy in flavor. So now it's also for flavoring too. It's definitely for flavoring and for health. We tried it first for health, but we discovered that we liked it more because of the fact that it doesn't coat everything. Like olive oil, once you've had coconut oil, right. seems like such an overbearing amount of oil. Right. And the last thing we're going to do is we're just going to sprinkle Parmesan on each one of these pieces. We're, I'm doing two trays of these, but I'm only doing one for the example because if we sat here all day, you guys would get bored and probably click on the next recommended video that's not this. So... I'm just going to keep on going. So really a uh, quick recap. You brushed with coconut oil. You sprinkled Parmesan cheese. You made your mix according to the recipe. Yep. Now you're ready to top it, right? Yep. We're going to go ahead and top it real quick. I'm only going to top a couple of these because when I serve this, I traditionally serve it like buffet style so the bread doesn't get soggy. 
because what happens now is this bread, as it's cooling off, is going to harden up a little bit. The cheese is melted, and there's a little bit of a crunch. So I'm only going to top these two middle two just for the sake of the video so you and I can try one. Okay. And I'm going to leave the rest of the bread so when Brie gets home, she can have it because she'll get pissed if she didn't get any of this. So. Oh, All right. Let's do a little water, stress. ready? Did I just hear your stomach growl? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you're topping, you're topping mm -hmm. all of them. <laughs> I go hard on the paint with the toppings. I'm gonna go finish this over the sink so I don't look like an animal. It's really good. Is it good? Mm -hmm. All right, guys. There you go. Yes, what you got it.